Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how I take this straight hair and turn it into these effortless beach waves. This is so simple, it takes me 10 minutes max. Um, not too curly, just the right amount of texture. So all you need is that a clip, I like the alligator clips, and a brush, and that's pretty much it. Um, I like to section my hair off in three sections. So I go from about the ear, top of the ears down is the first section that I do, and then I'm just going to clip the rest of my hair off. You also could use just a regular scrunchie or a hair tie, whatever you have on hand, keeping it simple, guys. If you have a problem, Get, having curls stay in your hair, use this Four Bay Soft Lacquer. It is the most wonderful thing. I used it all the time when I would style hair for weddings and things like that. So it is all day and for that stubborn hair. Mine holds curl pretty well, so I'm not gonna use it today since it's just an everyday thing. But otherwise, you would just spray it in there, brush it through, it feels kind of tacky, but whenever you put the heat on it, then that's when it does its magic and it turns soft. So today I'm just gonna be using a one and a half inch barrel wand. It's from Lang. Um, I think that's how you say it. I'll put it up here. But anyway, I'm curling away from my face. I really like the curls the best with that. They're out of the way. You still get the look. Um, so I always curl everything away from my face on each side. I'm just taking, you kind of, rule of thumb, you kind of want to take about the same size section as your um, hot tool. So my hot tool is about an inch and a half wide diameter, so I am taking about an inch and a half section. Um, curling that back away, and then you want to leave about an inch to two inches out at the end to kind of give you that beach look. You don't want the ends to be curled, so just doing that. And then I also like to flip my hair backwards at the end. Whenever you first take it off the wand, it's still hot, so it's still kind of in the process of being set, if you will, so I always kind of twist it back to give it a little bit extra oomph, kind of set that curl a little bit more. So I'm just kind of going in and grabbing sections, just kind of eyeballing it, um, not doing anything extremely precise because it's just kind of an effortless look. Like I said, you kind of want to keep it about the same um, size as the wand. That just gives you the best curl. That's how it's meant to work. But other than that, just kind of grabbing as I go. I do really like this Lang wand. It's worked really well for me. But basically what I look for when I'm getting a um, tool is that it has a either ceramic plate or a platinum plate, something along those lines, because that's gonna give you a little bit extra sheen and it just kind of makes your hair look a little bit nicer, a little bit healthier. It's not quite as harsh on it and it just kind of helps with the shine. So that's really good. You also want to um, look for how hot it can get. My hair is naturally really actually very curly and I had straightened it before this video. Um, you can go look through my channel to see the curls if you are new. But um, anyway, so I can do a little bit higher heat because my hair is very like coarse naturally. Uh, but if you are working with kind of thin hair or not thin, but like fine, the texture is thin. So fine hair, very straight hair, something like that, you may not need quite as high of heat. So be mindful of that. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my son in the background. He's helping me voice over this video. But anyway, so I can go a little bit higher with heat. You may not want to do that. It kind of depends on your hair texture, but I always look for um, something that can go high heat and something that is ceramic or platinum plated. And those always tend to work really well for me. So you guys probably already noticed this since I already sectioned it off, but for the second section, I like to do this as like the biggest section. This has the most amount of hair. And I just kind of section right where my hairline kind of goes back. So basically where the eyebrows are, I just do kind of like that little mohawk area, <laughs> if you will. Just that very top middle area. Um, and I section that out and then I do the rest of my hair right now. And again, I'm just kind of grabbing one inch size sections, just grabbing wherever. I usually start from the very back um, of one side and work my way to the front and then the very back of the other side and work my way to the front just because that way I am not grabbing hot hair <laughs> and I have less chance of burning myself, even though I have done that countless times. <laughs> but um, we try to avoid it as much as possible, right? 
I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up since it is the same process all the way through this section and I'll slow it back down when we get to that top part. Um, but just keep curling guys, you got this. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to go check it out. My name is Julia Johnson. I'm a mom of two little kiddos. Um, I post motherhood related videos and I post cleaning content as well. So definitely go check it out. Hit subscribe if you are new so you can be informed of any videos that I may post. Also, comment down below and tell me that you're new so I can say hello to you. I love to meet you guys. And if you are enjoying this kind of video, this is kind of the first like beauty type video I posted on here, so let me know if you guys like it and I can post some more or if you have any questions, things like that. But I just thought I'd post this on here because I try to do things so much faster now that I'm a mom because who has time to get ready? <laughs> Moving on to the last section. This is the smallest section I do, but it is the most important, so I spend the most amount of time on this section. So I am taking one little section, combing it out, and then I am actually just going to curl that back. So I do the first like two or three sections of this just back, and then I push my wand forward a little bit. It's not touching my scalp, but it is kind of pushing that hair forward because that's gonna give you a little bit of extra lift and a little extra body on that crown area. And so I like to do that there. I'm just letting that go back, and then I'm doing the next section the exact same way. I'm not doing my part yet at all. I like to get a little bit of the crown area just kind of pushed up a little bit. So I am doing that now. And then I'll show you when we move on to the sides. Okay, so now I am parting my hair the way that I like to wear it. Again, on this top section, I like to be a little more detailed because this is the part that everybody sees the most. So I brush those sections out. Um, and then again, I push my wand a little bit against the way that I am going. So that way it is kind of a little bit more body on the top. Um, I like to do the bottom two layers. I don't like to do the body as much there because I like my hair to look really long. So I want it to be kind of lengthened out. And then the top part, that's when I push everything up a little bit. So. That is kind of my little tip for you guys, and I'm just going to be doing this on the next side, so I continue that, and then the very top piece, it kind of depends on what type of wave you are wanting. If you want the bangs to be a little bit more relaxed in the front, then um, I wouldn't do it quite as high at the scalp, or if you like the kind of just beachy wave all the way through, do it high at the scalp. It's kind of up to you and what your preference preference is if I can talk <laughs> so today this is what I'm doing I'm just kind of brushing that out again and then I want that body so I am kind of just pushing it up um, and then holding it right there also again make sure that whenever you guys let your curls go do not run your fingers through them until they are it is cool um, so you can see in the back, I like let that stay. That's what it looks like before you run your fingers through it. You want it to cool down so that the curl can set. Okay, so now you can run your fingers through it and just kind of get it to the amount of waves that you want. Kind of style it, move it around, play with it a little bit. Again, this is not like super set curls. It's supposed to be kind of messy. So that's the beauty of this hair, especially for moms or just worker bees. Anybody that is super busy just kind of lets you do it and it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. It's easy to do quickly. Um, one other tip that I wanted to show with you guys is to how to get a little bit of extra body in there and that is to tease the actual waves. So that's why I brought that comb out a minute ago. Um, so you can definitely tease the top of your hair if you want that look, but also you can tease the, the wave and you just want to tease it right where it starts to wave, so right where the curl starts on each little bend, if that makes sense. And that will kind of just kind of create a little bit of body throughout. I don't necessarily love the teasing look on the top anymore. I definitely used to do that <laughs> back in the day. Um, now I think it just doesn't quite look the way that I want it. So I will actually do that on the waves. It kind of accentuates the curl a little bit more and then um, gives it a little bit of body all the way through. So it's not just the top. So 
Now I just do the kind of the wand thing on the top of my hair and then the comb for the rest of it. And again, this is just like an added kind of a bonus step. You do not have to do this. Obviously, it looked good before this. This is also kind of good for like a second day hair if the curls are kind of going a little bit looser and you want to give it a little bit more of a curl and not have to do so much of the iron. This kind of helps boost it and accentuate that wave a little bit more. So I kind of do that there. But if it's a busy morning and I'm just trying to hurry and get out the door, I definitely don't do this step. But Anyway, I thought I would show you guys. It's fully done and cool. I like to put some of this hair oil on my ends just to keep it nice and shiny. This is also really good if you want to kind of relax the curl a little bit. It's not going to do a ton because I'm just putting it on my ends. But um, if you're wanting to kind of relax certain areas, you can put that just a little bit more saturated everywhere. But this is going to give it that shiny look. And like I said, my hair is naturally coarse, so I really like to do that after I put any heat on it. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this and that it gave you a little bit of helpful tips and maybe some motivation to um, do something for yourself in the morning. <laughs> I know we as busy moms like to get our kids ready first and then if we have time we rush through our um, getting ready process so hopefully this helps you guys speed it up and so you can feel a little pampered if you are new to my channel please hit subscribe I would love for you to join the channel family and to those of you that are already subscribers I love you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye bye